So here's the scoring on uh, 2018 number four. Uh, it's two, 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 and three. Um, things that I are worth mentioning. Um, interpretation with units. So you have to say that it is the rate at which the height of the tree is changing in meters per year at time t equals six. So you have to say this at time t equals six. You have to have the meters per year. You have to have all of that in order to get the, this point. And the estimate, I think, is the easy point. Um, the thing to mention on part B, when they say this conclusion using mean value theorem, if you don't state the hypotheses as they do here, they so they don't do this thing that I did you know, it's continuous for all real numbers and therefore, in particular, continuous on the interval three to five. They just said, because H is differentiable on three to five, so they forget about, you know, all real numbers, it, therefore H is continuous on three to five. So, you, but you have to state that. If you don't state that H is differentiable and continuous on the appropriate intervals, then you're not going to get this point at all. Even if you use mean value theorem, if you didn't say differentiable and continuous, you don't, and, and continuous in particular, right? So it said, it, because the problem said differentiable, you have to say continuous in order to have met those criteria for mean value theorem and be able to get that point. And everything else is pretty straightforward. They did the um, the ratio first and then stated the mean value theorem. Um, I, to me, it makes more sense to state these things first and then do that and then conclude that. Um, but, you know, that's how they did it. Uh, so the, to get this conclusion using mean value theorem, you have to have differentiable, continuous, and mean value theorem. You have to have all those words there. Um, part C. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they would give you points for for trapezoidal sum. Like if I did a trapezoidal sum but I didn't do it right, or does that mean that I had to get the 65.75 or that I had to have these numbers here? I'm guessing the trapezoidal sum means I had to have something that was equivalent to this in expression in the parentheses. And then your approximations, you do one-eighth times that. So they could have just left it here. This would be correct. Um, and then they simplified this, and I think I wrote that. Um, I don't. This is a pretty ridiculous thing to write on a no calculator question. I don't know that anybody would do that, but maybe you would. Um, so you get points for the sum and the approximation. They gave the units and the interpretation, but that's not a point because it wasn't part of the question. And then part D, the only thing that's weird is, I found this a little hard to interpret over here because they say um, you get two points for DDT of G of X. So that means I have to get this whole expression in order to get the two points. And if any part of this expression is wrong, then I don't get that two points. I get zero points. And then I get one point for the answer. But see, what's weird, what's contradictory is that they say max one out of three if no chain rule. But if I didn't have a chain rule, then I wouldn't have DDT of G of X. So how would I, how would I get one point when I don't have you know, I don't have it, all right? If I don't have the chain rule, I'm not going to have this. So how do I have any points? The max one, three, one, zero. And it's sort of contradictory. The only way I could sort of uh, interpret that is I think maybe they meant DDX of G of X. So that then, then what would make sense is they would be saying, if I got this right, but I forgot the DX DT, then I would get one point for that. But it's really, it's really unclear the way they've got the points here. So, you know, it's not always very cut and dry how they're doing it. To me, it's not clear how to interpret that. You can think about it, but basically what you want to do is try to get this derivative right and then get the answer.